But since its release two years ago, Freeform remains one of Apple's most underrated apps. And I love its collaborative feature, its infinite canvas, cross device use, and creativity. So I'm using iOS 18.1, iPad OS 18.1, and Mac OS 15.1 developer beta. With my iPhone 15 Pro, my Mac Studio M1 Ultra, and the iPad Pro 2022, which comes with an M2 chip. The public release for all of this is scheduled for late September. So Freeform is built in and free for everyone to use. Now for creative thinking alone or with a team, charting down and connecting ideas is absolutely essential. And this has been particularly particularly helpful for me for problem solving. Now in all of this for problem solving, I found two effective approaches. One is a traditional pen and paper on a very large sheet, like an A3 size. And the second is a mind mapping tool with an infinite canvas. Now Freeform offers this infinite canvas for mind mapping. It's built in and subscription free. It lets you add photos, shapes, lines, and text and connect them with this endless canvas. You can zoom in at up to 400% and zoom out to 10% to see more or less of the canvas. You can also zoom to fit all of the canvas content with just a single click. I like using Freeform on documents that I like to continually update to reflect new information, changes and development like my YouTube strategy map. An improved feature that Apple cleaned up in the new update is connectors to shapes and images. It existed in the earlier version, but now it's been cleaned up quite a bit. So in this example, you can see how I've connected my entire YouTube workflow and I'm able to adjust the connectors quite easily. And it has multiple steps across different columns. I can change the color, the line thickness, the line type, the connection style, and how the line ends and begins for each of the connectors. You can attach the connector to any part of the shape, any part of the edge, not just specific points. By default, it stays with the image or the shape and you can freely move it around, giving it this snap and adjust capability. The lines automatically redraw themselves as you move anything on the page. You can also arrange the connectors quite easily as you move things around, which I find really convenient. If you add something new, you can rewire these connectors easily as well. Since Freeform has this infinite canvas, you can just keep adding information and it just keeps expanding. But eventually, it can get a bit unwieldy with so much information that's spread out, making it really easy to lose track. You could search through the document using this command plus F feature or zoom in and out to locate the information. But that's quite painful, isn't it? And this is where Freeform's new Scenes feature comes in. It allows you to organize your canvas into smaller manageable sections. A scene is basically everything that's visible on your screen. To get the right composition, you can zoom in or out, capture what you want, and save that view as a scene. You can name it using the three dot ellipsis. You can rename it or update the zoom later if you add more into it. And it happens quite often to me. Now you can navigate these smaller sections with just one click. And that's simply magical. You can create scenes from empty boards or from those that have notes. I've talked about using stream decks in my earlier videos for many of my macros. And one of the stream decks that I use is this Stream Deck Plus which has both buttons and dials, eight buttons and four dials. Now, inside of Freeform, I've created this small template for my Stream Deck Plus that I use and reuse for navigation. It allows me to create the user flow for all of my navigation. Now, by using these buttons, I can execute a macro or switch to another layout inside of Stream Deck Plus. I can make any changes on the canvas and the next time I go back to that same scene, it will show up with the changes. So let's say I've added more information. The screen becomes too small to fit everything in. So I just change the zoom levels and I update the scene. So the scene just remembers the zoom level and this zoom level could be different, completely different for each scene, depending on how much information you want to show. And I can easily rearrange these scenes by dragging them to the right position. Now using the arrow keys, I can skip through them like pages or pick the one I want to go to directly. 
you can delete a scene entirely without deleting any of the data. Now one cool feature is the ability to print a single scene or all of these scenes simultaneously. The same holds true for creating PDFs. I can export a single scene or all of these scenes together. Now if you're new to Freeform, you should be watching this video on Freeform functionality. And if you're not using Stream Deck, then you're really missing out. Watch this video to know why.